In this video, we'll see how to generate Google Maps API key in a few simple steps so you can unlock the power of Google Maps for your project. Whole process is divided into five steps. In step one, we'll create a project. In step two, we'll be enabling APIs. And in step three, we will create API key. And in step four, we'll restrict that API key for security. And in step five, we will enable the billing if you've not enabled yet. And by the end of this video, you'll be a pro at creating and managing your Google Maps API key. Now, let's not waste any more time. Let's get started. Now, let's start with first step, which is creating the project. For that, just search in your browser Google Cloud Platform, or link is also given in description. So if you click on the link, this is where it will take you. Now, it will ask you to log in. Just log in by using your Gmail. Now, this how interface will looks like. And now on the top, click on this. Click on New Project. Now name the project as you like, but remember it cannot be changed. So give appropriate name to it. And for this video, I am going with Google Map API Key Demo. Now it will ask you for your organization location, but it's optional, so no need to fill this. Now just click on Create. Now here you can see Project is on Process. Now it's complete. It means our project has been created. Now just select the project. Either you can click here, or you can select your project from here. Now let's get into the step two, which is enabling the APIs. For that, click on the navigation, then go to APIs and Services. Now click on Library. Here we have to find these four APIs and enable them. So first one is called Maps JavaScript API. Just search for it. Now click on the first result. And now click Enable. It will take a few seconds and now it's enabled. But this option will automatically pop up. Just click here and click on maybe later. Now our first API is enabled. Now let's enable the rest. But after doing that, here we are. Now just click on APIs and Services. Now here we have to enable the rest of the APIs. Now the second one is called Places API. So I'll click on Places Filter. Now here's the Places API. So I'll just click on Enable. Now it's enabled. Now third one is called Geocoding API. Now I'll enable it. But now, I'm unable to find the fourth one. You might also face this issue. So just go to Navigation, then APIs and Services, then Library and search for the API. Now the fourth one is called Directions API, so I'll just type it. And now click on the first result and enable it. Now we have enabled all the APIs. Now let's move to third step, which is creating an API key. For that, let's go back to Navigation menu then APIs and Services. Now click on Credentials. As you can see, there's already one API key, but we don't need this. We'll create a new one. So just delete this. Uh, now let's create a new one. Click on New Credentials. Now click on New API Key. It will take a few seconds. Now it's generated. But as you can see, there is a yellow warning mark on our API, which we will solve in next step. But for now, our third step is completed. Now let's go to fourth step, which is restricting the API key. Now for that, just click on API key. Now scroll down a bit. Now select website. Now add the website that you want to use your API on. Because if you don't add website, then API will take requests from all the websites that uses your API. So just add your website. For that, just click on add. Now you can just type your website, for example, https double slash localhost, or just copy the domain of your website and paste it. You can add multiple websites. Now after this, let's restrict the API. Scroll down, now click on restrict key, and select all the API that we've enabled. Here you can see only four APIs, but if you cannot find it, then just search for it. Now just select them and click on save. Now, as you can see, yellow warning marker is gone. Just click on Show Key. Click on Show Key. And now you can use this API key on any website. Now, all the steps are completed except enable billing. And it's very simple. Just to back to navigation menu. Then click on Billing. Now, just link you billing account or choose a billing account that is associated with the Google Maps platform. This ensures that the account will cover the usage of the Google Maps services utilized by your project. Now, this is all there is to know. Now, subscribe if you think this video has provided you any value at all.